All right, what's going on? So I ha I have to I kind of want to report this too. So I think allegedly this may have something to do with the connection of the Diddy of the Diddy case. We don't know. I'm just I'm just saying this that um you know these crimes are kind of similar, right? You know with uh, P Diddy and Secure stuff, but this is kind of shocking here. You had the former Abercrombie and Fitch CEO charged with sex trafficking over a dozen victims and prosecutors. Uh, Mike Jeffries and his partner with another man were arrested today. Now, they said the two others were arrested today as part of a criminal investigation to the alleged sex trafficking of more than a dozen victims, according to the FBI and federal prosecutors. Now, Jeffries, his partner, Matt Smith, and a third man, Jim Jacobson, are accused of operating an international sex trafficking and prostitution business that recruited young men for parties in the U.S. and abroad, according to a 16-count indictment. So the former retail executive and Smith relied on their vast financial resources. They said Jeffrey's power as the CEO of Abercrombie and numerous people, including Jacob Jacobson and a network of employees, contractors, and security professionals to run a business that was dedicated to fulfilling their sexual desires and ensuring that their international sex trafficking and prostitution business was kept secret. It's crazy. It's that federal prosecutors said the trio allegedly paid dozens of men so to travel all over the world, cross state lines, and to perform sex acts and fulfill their sexual desires, allegedly, in a seven-year period. This started in the late 2008. They said the indictment mentions 15 alleged victims, so they're identified as John Doe, 1 through 15. Jeffries alleged recruited, hired, and paid a slate of household staff to facilitate and supervise the sex event. Man, prosecutors and FBI believe there are more, many more victims and asking them to come forward. Jacobson allegedly traveled throughout the United States and internationally to recruit and interview men for the so-called sex events. During the trials of potential candidates, Jacobson required that the candidates first engage in sex acts with him. Wow, man. Uh, yeah, this is crazy. This is an indictment alleged that many of the men were coerced. Led to believe that attending the events will yield modeling opportunities. Yup, so selling them a dream. Hey, if you come here and do this for me, I pay you. Uh, I'm gonna get you into the industry. Uh, it's ridiculous, man. You know, uh, they said defendants are charged with sex trafficking and interstate prostitution. Uh, Jeffries was released on a $10 million bond following a brief initial appearance Tuesday afternoon before a federal magistrate in Florida where he was arrested. So today marks a big step forward on behalf of David Bradbury and other survivors in this action. Uh, right now, um, find the victims. David Bradbury, former crewman of the reality series Below Deck, he said Jeffries made Abercrombie successful Ooh. by the oversexualization of young men. Dang man, woo wee! Uh, he been around since 1992 to 2014. Has been accused of civil lawsuits and sex parties and hosted at the Hamptons in the state of New York, London, Venice. Yeah, this is crazy, man. So, uh, a lot of powerful people, right? And I didn't know that, especially with the Diddy case, I think, too, like, this has just been, it's going to be a lot of things that's going to be coming at, you know, and, and who knows that the connection with this, but, you know, I'm, the powerful people, like, a lot of powerful people uh, in the position of authority, they're they're getting down, you know, they, they've been getting away with this, who, who've been doing these type of crimes for a very long time, and they believe they can get away with it because of their uh, statutes and the people that they know, so now, uh, it's coming down to it like hey, you know, you're not gonna be doing this to people and people are coming out. I think um, You know, this is really interesting here um, Right now, like I said, you know, the ten million dollar bond release on bond But it might be a potential trial unless you work with a uh, attorney to a plea deal But you know, I just feel like you know what the Abercrombie and Fitch do this is um, extremely important uh, right here, I mean, they said you know it may be some more powerful people than Diddy, but then again, too, like what's this? What does this have to do with Diddy? I'm just saying, like it could be a huge coincidence. Um, it might be have nothing to do with it. it might be just something out of his own will. But at the end of the day, um, it just seemed like you know since Diddy got down, it's just a lot of other people too that was probably part of this stuff and you know doing the prostitution things of that nature are you know going down for it. So. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's a serious thing. It's a really is. So, <laughs> um, the news, they kind of talked, they talked about this, um, pretty well. So the FBI is still doing this, uh, investigation here and they have to entertain these lawsuits here. Uh, I was just going to play something a little bit here on the audio so you guys can hear. One second, here we go.
very interesting to see whether or not it is it or is not. Uh, if bail all is it. set, that, then Jeffries and Smith and others will be incarcerated while the case rolls out. Again, similar to what we're seeing in Sean Combs. Uh, if right. bail is not set, that'd be somewhat shocking. I think that'd be shocking to uh, not our, our viewers, but also to Sean Combs because he's going to try to piggyback off of that argument. But I think we're going to see a very similar case to what we saw of uh, Sean Combs, R. Kelly, and even in some senses, Harvey Weinstein. Yep. That's what I, you know. That's what I believe too. So it's, it's all connected. So, but anyway, that's all I had to say. I love you guys, man. That's just my thoughts on it. Um, yeah, I'm out. Deuces.